what welcome all of us to our series on ICICE um, YouTube to be looking at matrimonial. The title or the theme of this series is called The Journey of Marriage. And we shall be looking at seeing aspects of marriage, taking it from the beginning to there was not say the end. But nevertheless, there are some aspects of marriage we shall be looking at. We shall be looking at the several E's of marriage. My name is Abdul Fattah Adeyemi, and I'm the one that will take you on this journey, inshallah. First, as I was saying, let's look into the E's of marriage, and then we we'll begin to pick them one by one. When I say E, I'm talking about letter E of marriage. The first E are for those who are enlisted in marriage. That is, those who are already matured and they are looking forward to getting married. A person that is not yet ready to marry or somebody that has not reached the age of maturity, we may not be saying the person is enlisted to marry. However, some, you know, some interests can be shown, some arrangements can be made, and some prospects can be uh, discovered or realized or even contacted when it comes to matters of marriage. And so there's no hard and fast rule about the age of being enlisted for marriage. That is to say, when is this person going to have a, a proposal or be thrown towards marriage? Various cultures have different ways of looking at this. We are going to look into all of these details, inshallah, as we move ahead in discussing the journey of marriage. The second E are those who are already engaged in marriage. They have found somebody they want to marry and now they are engaged, they have been contacted, they are about to enter into marriage. And this is another one. What are the rules of engagement? What does it mean when somebody is already engaged in marriage? How do young people go about making choices of the person to whom they should engage? And what are the factors? What are the rules? What are the situations? What are the circumstances that desire to determine what this engagement is going to be? That is another E. Marriage. Another E are those who are about to enter into marriage. So E for entering into marriage. What are the rulings of the Sharia with regards to somebody who is about to marry? And how is the act of the car supposed to be done? How do they actually enter into the marriage? What are the uh, sunnah of the Prophet? And they lay down guidelines and rules on how to enter into marriage itself proper. We shall look into these issues, look at the matters, look at the things of our day-to-day -day life and activities, and see how it can be easy to enter into marriage. It can even die. So when enjoyment has hit the brick wall, then it becomes endurance. In what way should couples begin to endure if any mishap should happen? Marriage itself could be a form of trial, and when these trials come, how are the couples expected to endure the hardship that may come with marriage, endure the trials that may come with marriage, endure the circumstances that are not foreseen that may come up in a marriage. Endurance can also be in a negative way, and we are going to look at that too, the aspect that a couple are not expected to endure at all. What are some of the examples of the things the couple should not endure? Abuse and battery are some of them, and we shall explain in details when we reach that bus stop, when we reach that uh, station in this, our journey of marriage. When all of that has happened or is happening, what are the couples supposed to do? Then we look into another E, that is edit. How should they edit their marriage? That is, if there is conflict, how do they resolve this conflict? If they have quarrels, how do they resolve these quarrels? 
if things are not going on fine, if there is a matter of no shoes, that is some mishaps in marriage, some undulating circumstances that are full of inconveniences in the marriage. How should couples edit? Who should they discuss with? Who is supposed to be the third party that they should contact? And can they edit their marriage by themselves? Can they remove what is not supposed to be there? Can they include what is expected to be part of their marriage? When we get to this station, we shall look into how to edit your marriage. After editing marriages, what if it still doesn't work? Then, like they say, when the worst get to the worst, then they begin to exit the marriage. How do couples exit a marriage mutually and in such a way that's not going to be a bigger problem for themselves and for the Ummah. So we shall look into how do they exit the marriage. Marriages are not meant to last forever. Sometimes couple may divorce and we look into the rudiments of divorce in Islam. Children may be involved. We look into what Islam says about, about custody of children. One of the couples may die, then the widow or the widower, aspects and matters that surround these circumstances in marriage, we shall be looking at them too, inshallah, in this, on this program. So you see, it's a lot of things to look at. And when they have exited the marriage, well, either of them might still have to go back to square one and begin to enlist for marriage all over again. Because marriage is a very important aspect of Islam. And also because of that, a lot of things have to be learned and we really need to pay attention to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Rasul are already saying to us concerning the matters of marriage. And this journey, inshallah, promises to be a safe journey, inshallah. And we'd like you to join us every Saturday as we bring this program your way and we look into the matters of the journey of marriage. If you have any questions or you have observations or you have personal requests, you may wish to contact ICICE and Law for counseling, premarital counseling, conflict resolution, career guidance, and sometimes matters of sobriety support for those who have been victim of drug and substance addiction before. We offer a lot of support in parenting, guidance and counseling, and we advise not just the parents, but also the children, and not only the married people, but even those that are single and those who are also single again and single again. Apart from that, there are many other programs that go on in ICICE, and would like us to all stay tuned on this YouTube channel so that we can be part and parcel of everything that is going on and we can also make our input and be part of the discussion. Like I said, an email address will be provided so that you can email your concerns and your questions and your requests and dedicated phone number will also be provided in case you want to make a phone call as urgently as you will need it. And bear with us as you make your calls, as you make your questions and your comments and your inputs. We shall take our time to go through them. And perhaps in the midst of our discussions, we may bring in answers to your questions. And sometimes you will see that many more people are going to benefit from what you are asking or your concern. We can even make a whole episode based on your request and your quest to know more about this journey of marriage. We pray for all of those who are already married. May Allah give them happy married life. And we pray for those who are still looking for spouses to marry. May Allah give them the coolness of their eyes and the best of all spouses with whom they will carry out the injunction of, of Islam and do their act of ibadah. And inshallah, we'll go to paradise together in the day of judgment. My name is Abdul Fatah Adeyemi. I will be your driver on this journey of marriage. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.